Hey guys, Coach Kimmy here. I am super excited to show you this haircut. So this is Lisa and she has this beautiful, I wanna just spin her around to show you this gorgeous, gorgeous curl. She's a no nonsense woman. She does not wanna spend time on her hair, but she has natural, beautiful hair. She grew out all her color. Look at her gorgeous color too. Gorgeous. All right, so I love this. So today we're gonna to do a fun bang on her. So she showed me pictures. Now we're gonna take, I already did a blueprint. We're gonna take a little V, uh, a triangle, right? And I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna look at the places. Now, I'm not gonna go crazy, do you understand, with doing a big thick one first. First, I'm gonna take a little triangle first, see how that looks, and then we're gonna work from it there because I need to go with her curl. Doesn't She showed me pictures, but I need to find out what does her hair do. She's got a calic over here. You're looking at the root. See, this sucker, this probably would look better. Like, it would really benefit her if she pushed it over. See how it naturally would go up? Now look at that. Now, this is a calic. Look at that baby, woo! Her best way would be going with that calic, but I'm actually gonna do it without it so that she could do it both ways. But yeah, look how nice this one goes. This one automatically goes the way we want it to go over. So I need to take that into consideration doing this bang. And another thing that I want you to know is think about the arch of her eyebrow. You're always gonna take like right there is where I'm gonna start. I don't wanna go past that just yet. Okay, so it's like where the arch comes in, right here. And then right here, I wanna check hers here. It's a lot less. Just start there. Now you gotta be loose with these bangs. And you know I've done another video. I had a million and something on that video about these calyx, right? These are going up. Now, she's real good with her own curl. Some people would say, well, how do I get the calic out? I had a lot of people say, I have a really bad calic too, what do I do? You gotta do a smoothing system just on the calic if you wanted it out. Otherwise, you learn how to work with the calic. Look at, see how pretty, this is, it, it'll go over. So I'm gonna take this hair, and I never grab it really tight. I'm gonna just, and I'm gonna come now this is gonna pop up too, remember that. So you're not holding it super tight and I'm gonna do it right over here. Okay, and then it's gonna fall this way. That's exactly what I want, beautiful. And now I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take a little piece from that other piece so I know the guide. and then that will fall back too. I do want to take a tiny, tiny little piece and I want to make it shorter. It's gonna go up. Just because I want this to be on a little angle that it's gonna push those pieces back better. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more. I feel safer now. I'm like, okay, this bang is doing pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna take it this way. When you pull hair forward like this, it's gonna automatically wanna flip back. That's a Vidal Sassoon technique. I'm right there. Oh, look how good that looks. Okay, now I just wanna take a little bit more. And, and listen, when I'm taking this extra hair, I still am holding it loosely and I'm going on an angle going. My scissor is vertical, okay? Horizontal's this way. If I would cut it that way, I'd have a ledge. I want it to be on a nice slope, so I'm going vertical. Let's see what that baby does. All right, now I'm gonna pull this out. And I'm just gonna cut that little top off right there. Yeah, love it. All right, now I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna start giving her a beautiful little angle around her face. I'm not combing this forward now. Now I'm coming down to where the hair lives. There we go. I'm gonna get in there. I wanna soften that just a little bit. 
Now I'm gonna take the next section. This is like beach ball section. You're just coming down an inch, the next inch, um, bringing it down where it wants to live. And there's a little tiny corner and I could just baby, baby little pieces. Look at how nice that's gonna fall. Now I wanna show you something. You see how heavy all this hair is here? This so needs softness. It needs a balance. It needs to cascade going down. Okay, so you see what I'm talking about. This is where the bell comes in. So this is the haircut that you just pull off forward and you just angle, but it she could have so much more curl and volume in here if we take some weight off of there. So let me just do the other side. We use our magic formula 18. Love this. I'm gonna turn her. Listen, my body position matters. I am in front of her, okay? I'm gonna comb this down, and my scissor, I'm gonna go behind here. Take it, go down, down, straight down to the floor, it's vertical. Take in the next section. Just nice and gentle, comb it, let it fall into your hand, don't pull that hair. Now I'm gonna take her this way. Okay, we're gonna go long. This is one of my favorites, doing it on the top. We take an inch, about that much from the top, and you're doing it to her part. The comb is leading. Watch, the comb is leading my fingers. I wanna get all that off. See, now listen, I want you to use your imagination to think where's this gonna land? It's gonna come down. She's gonna have this beautiful angle that's gonna come back, right? Use your imagination. If I do this, and this is framing her face. This is coming down, framing her face, and then it will come down there. Now I'm gonna bring it straight back, mohawk, all the way back. And it's gonna get longer as I do it. And I do want softness in there, so I am gonna point cut it. And I'm doing head sheet. Oh, now first I'm gonna cut that off, and then I'm gonna soften it. And I could put a little texture in that hair too. Some places if it's a little heavier than others. And, and that's also imagination. A lot of times I use my imagination. I use my senses. I feel the hair and think, is it even on both sides? Even when I check hair, I'm always like closing my eyes, pulling the hair out thinking, do they feel the same amount of texture? Like, is it the same amount? You always want balance, but you're, you're always using your thinking mind. You gotta get out of your subconscious, which is your autopilot, and you gotta be using your thinking mind. How can I make this hair perfect? Okay, there we go, I'm gonna take that off. Now listen, this is where her, her length is here, but I need to do a little bit. I'm gonna soften that first. Get half of that out, now I'm gonna come down. Now I'm gonna take all this hair. Here's her length. Here's what's gonna drop out, because I'm not going straight down to that length, but this is perfect. Right here, she'll have enough bottom so it's thick. So it's a nice thick bottom. And then those hairs will cascade going straight down. Beautiful, beautiful. Now you could see what a difference just that one little section made. I want it all balanced. Now I'm gonna take, that was the mohawk, I'm gonna take the next mohawk section. It's basically the whole haircut's gonna be coming up and it's gonna be your imaginary line. You know, but when you see it, you're gonna think in your head, it's gonna go like this and it's gonna go around. And it's gonna go around right about there because I want that bottom to fall out so that she has thickness and fullness on the bottom. And I'm gonna bring it right to the top. You can over direct it too if people have long, long hair. Now 
Now I feel a lot of thickness. This is the most thickest part of the hair. It's usually like right here, right here on this side. So I'm gonna get her middle out. I'm gonna just pick that up again. And I'm just, I want you to look at that hair. Okay. It's just a little thick right here. I want a little fullness here so it doesn't drag down. So I'm just gonna tap like one, two, three, four. I don't really need so much here. It's this heavy part here. And I just wanna soften that little end a little bit more. Oh yeah, it's looking better, right? And when we put that curl cream in her, that curl will really be even more beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna take it up. We're gonna over direct it right to the middle. There's my guide. Yeah, she's got beautiful hair. Now I'm just gonna pick this up, check it, check it, check it. Here we go. I'm picking it up to that middle. There's my guide. I'm gonna get that out of the way. Picking all this up. Gonna get that out of the way. And that's it. Now this side's done. Easy peasy. Now I just wanna show you, if she needed more layers, like let's just say this was still too heavy here, right? Which it might be, I'm like looking at it and it's always using your imagination. Don't forget, use your imagination. <laughs> Right here, I want like maybe this one a little bit more, this curl right here. So I'm gonna pull it straight out. And I'm just gonna take that little extra piece off right there, right? And then it's just gonna be a little more, you won't have that bell on the bottom, but I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not, and I had to look at it first before you do it. Don't do it until you, you look first one way, and then you can always cut it more. I'm just gonna do this a little bit more, a little more angle. Now we're seeing this haircut come to life. Yeah, and and listen, this is the other thing. See her curl is, is kind of going right into her thing, so I probably need to make this a little shorter. Although that looks good, but if you see, her calyx going right over. So let's just see what it would look like. Would it show more her bang? See how cute that is? See how you play with hair, look at it, design it. Say, you know, is this angled enough? Is this, I might need a little more angle, like right here, you see this piece? Even though I did it before, but this piece is gonna be heavy, heavier, cause she has more hair there, like it's more dense. So I want this to be a little bit more here. So I'm gonna take it, and her hair's just gonna fall right into place, you see it? See it forming, yeah, love that. Gorgeous. All right, now we're gonna do the other side. I really have to turn her around and I need to do it this way. I'm on the other side of this hair and bringing this hair up. So I'm taking that section and I bring it straight up. Bringing that back mohawk. And I will go back in there and texturize it if it needs it. This is a little bit of her lesser side if she put it on the side. Now I'm gonna bring it back. And just so you know, grab all that hair. I could grab all this hair up here if I wanted. You just, I just take a little less sometimes, but otherwise it's all gonna be the same angle. And some people's hair doesn't look so good point cutted, so you wanna check it. Like I feel like I started point cutting her and then I was like, oh, you know what, I think it looks better not. All right, so now look at her bottom right here. I think I wanna just try that too, just a little bit more maybe. I'm just gonna look and see, is there anything I could do there? And that's just pulling it out at a 90 degree angle, straight back, could I take a little more off? Listen, just that baby piece, that's it, but that baby piece will make a big difference to the little things that matter. Bring it straight back, 90 degree angle, right there. And that was section one, 
Section two, bring it straight back, 90 degree angle. And section three, bring it straight back, 90 degree angle. I will do her sides and I'll show you how I do her sides. Yeah, and I even like that better on her bottom for sure. It just made it balance because she's got a nice thick bottom. All right, now this side, I'm gonna bring it straight out too. Let's see, is there anything more? Here, just that little piece. And I'm gonna show you what this haircut looks like going up. The comb is driving my fingers. Just this little piece right here. I'm gonna turn her. I'm gonna look at this right here. See, it's right there. I need to just follow that down. Okay. Now I check it in the front. I didn't really do her bottom, so now I'm gonna do her bottom. But this looks really good, and we're almost done. Easy peasy, guys. It's a pattern. It's a blueprint. I already knew that blueprint. All right. I'm gonna. See what that hair is like on the bottom? And it looks really good on the bottom. I don't need to take much. And she's growing her hair out. Now I'm gonna turn her head. I'm going around her head. And remember, you're not putting hot, strong, strong tension on it. You're pulling it down, but not a ton of tension. And now I just wanna blend this last piece. I already did her whole front. And that's actually good. And then I'll check her. Let's check her. And then I'm gonna put the curl cream in, style her hair, because that's how she's gonna do. And then I wanna see, do I um, need to do anything more? All right, here's the magic sauce. All right, Davines Curl Cream, my favorite ever for curls. And I've used a lot of different stuff. That's how much I'm putting in one side. You gotta coat the hair so that it really um, has it in it and it will last for days. Get those roots to ends, roots to ends, roots to ends, and don't put a blob on one spot. I have it in here, I'm putting it on this one. I have it, and now I'm gonna take the whole thing. I'm gonna get those ends, get those ends, get those ends. And we'll see, do we want more with her pretty, beautiful little curtain bang? Now let me just do the other side. You don't need as much on the other side because she has less hair if it goes over to the side. But if she does in the middle, you need the same on both. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Look at her beautiful curls, right? From when she started to now. She just has such pretty curls. And you could always, let's just say if you wanted this, you could always kind of take it, take some pieces, twist them, and let them dry. Now listen, her natural curl is falling forward, which I like, right? So this one too. So we want to find out like, does she want them forward or back? Some of these she could take back. Now listen, this is the beginning. The next time I'll learn her hair, I always say this. Give me three chances with your hair. Let's find out how you like it. This is the lesser version. I could do a lot more. I could do that shag that she had showed me and do it even more, but when they first come to you, you go slow. And I would say for this haircut, it would be every eight weeks to even, even quarterly. She could do it three times a year. She doesn't even have to do it that much. I want you to play with it now, Lisa. And if you want to put your glasses on, you absolutely could. Yeah, that's what I want to. Now you let them play because she knows. Better. I don't know. I do. I like it over to the side better Can for sure. But both? I want you to try Let's both. See both. Now look at <laughs> she did it herself. But look at we need we need to just have something here so she could have it. But look how much less. We don't have to have a thick bang. But this really is made to go in that curtain bang. But now all I need is this little tiny piece right here. You let the hair fall to where it wants to go, and then I could do them right there. 
I could do it with a razor or I could do it with scissors. Now she would have to blow this if she really wants it to have that little front part like a full bang. So I'm still going to do this on the side though. And remember it's going to pop up. I know, it grows so fast, right? Okay. Okay, see right there. I take that angle down and just do it that little bit, that little bit less, but she could have a fuller bang. I'm just gonna do a little bit more right here. And now we wanna like really let her hair do what it wants to do. And she could try her curl creams too. Like, you know, it's my first time doing her hair. She's got a, that gray hair is definitely stubborn, but mm -hmm. I do think that, um, you know, with that Formula 18 there, I think it'll be really good. Yeah, I love this. All right, and I'm gonna blow dry just her bang. But see, I might want this. See how this is like heavy? I, I want that to be able to swoop over. So I'm definitely gonna incorporate that. Remember, it's always looking at it and thinking, should I do anything more? Because that is gonna swing back. That's what I want. Okay, I'm just gonna look at that so I can measure it with the other side. Make it even. All right, now let's do a blow dryer. I'm gonna blow it up and then I'm gonna push it down. Close your eyes, yep. Okay, now right away, listen, a haircut's not done until you're done, right? So if she does this this way, it's just a little too much right here. I wanna take that little bit and I'm just gonna angle it back so it goes back better. Yeah, beautiful. And she could do so her curly, look how cute. Now let me just get that other side. Okay, yay, it. it looks so good. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm take it here. So I end up like, you know, with busy yeah. work, you end up with like stuff like that. And yeah, that's what I want to see. Okay. Which, I mean, it could be okay. lighter, but. I mean, um, shorter. Yeah, maybe we should. We're gonna let that hair kind of like live where it wants to go. Perfect, see that? That's it. Yeah. Voila. It's great. And then I'm gonna put a little perfect hairspray on there. This is so good by Davinest. Perfect hairspray. And I like that she's playful with her hair. She'll push this behind, like it looks so cute. Oh my gosh, she's gonna sport it. Okay, and that's it. Yay! Awesome. What do you think, it's gonna I be love so it. good. And I'm gonna go in the jewelry store and go see her, make sure she's exactly. maintaining it. Now look at that nice balance in her own hair, so pretty. See those layers, her hair is still the same length, we just took the weight out of it. So cool. She's all done, yay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, yay. So fun. All right, guys, now you can do this haircut. It's on medium curly hair. We're good to go.